1480 News Now, leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. For 1480 News Now, I'm Phil Kuhn. A Columbia City man is facing nearly two dozen felony charges following a month-long investigation into allegations of various crimes against children. Investigators arrested 45-year-old Charles Larson on Friday. He's being held in the Whitley County Jail. Larson has been preliminarily charged with three counts of child molesting, ten counts of child exploitation, and other charges for possession of child pornography. Indiana recorded 12 flu-related deaths last week, raising the deaths in the state this season to 97. The Indiana State Health Department's latest flu report shows nine of the 12 deaths for the week were among people aged 65 and older. Of the state's 97 total deaths this season, 83 have occurred in that same age group. The counties with the most flu deaths in northern Indiana with Allen and Lake each recording 10 deaths and St. Joseph County reporting 9. Your weather's coming up in 15 seconds. It's a new year and it's time for you to get your new car, truck, van, or SUV. And the car company in Warsaw and Goshen is still the place to get the best deals. The car company is the home of the $69 down, $69 a month payment plan. So come see us at the car company. Great cars, great prices. Looking at your Storm Team 16 forecast, tonight will be mostly cloudy with light snow possible and a low of 18. Tomorrow will be cloudy with a chance of more snow early in the day and a high of 28. And Wednesday, we should feel temperatures rising up into the low 30s and mostly clear conditions. Average retail gasoline prices in Indiana have risen 11 cents per gallon in the past week, averaging $2.08 a gallon. That compares with the national average that has fallen 2.3 cents per gallon in the last week to $2.02 .02 a gallon. Prices yesterday were $1.19 per gallon lower than the same day one year ago. And the Lake City Media Hoopsters are back in action tonight, taking on the Warsaw Police Department at Edgewood Middle School. It's a fundraiser for cops, concerns of police survivors. Doors open at 6.30 and the game starts at 7. Admission is a free will donation. For more details on these stories, you can visit 1480newsnow.com. Thanks for watching.